In this video, I'm going to run through how to use the OPC UA client in Delta V um, to directly communicate to the OPC UA server on a Siemens PLC. So this effectively means that in many scenarios, say for example here I have a, a Siemens PLC and say for example if I want communication to go from the actual Siemens PLC for example or any other brand of PLC um, it usually has to go through an OPC server and then the OPC server then relays um, back to the Delta V system uh, the actual the signals itself but when the actual PLC like say for example in this case here when it actually has an OPC UA server actually set up on it that means that you can actually go direct communications so um, I have a PLC here which uh, I'm currently online to and I have a, a data block a Siemens data block uh, effectively set up uh, by where um, the, the actual data block is uh, being displayed over OPC UA that means that actually Delta V or any other um, system that has that capability can actually come in and then browse the actual tags and the actual values without the middleware um, actually involved. So I have a whole series of tags I uh, set up here and these are effectively uh, set to read for the majority but then I have an actual read write uh, request that's there um, also. Um, in terms of uh, my situation, I have a PNID here and a, a, a typical example where integration would be done uh, in this manner here would be say where I have uh, some kind of purified water or Wi-Fi distribution loop here and then say for example we have a generation skit and where we actually need to have a uh, system A and system B communicate. And of course, then it's all about how are you going to do that. You can use hard signals and so on, but I feel that the, the method that I'm going to show here is far, far more elegant. Okay, so inside Delta V, there is a, an area here called OPC UA server, and then there is OPC UA client. So when you actually are inside the client, you can set up individual different devices, and this means that you can browse for OPC servers, OPC UA servers. And when you actually create the device, what you can do is you can go off and then you can actually browse. You can go off and then browse the actual OPC UA server as it has been set up. So here, as an example, um, if I say, see this guy here, server interfaces, then we've server interface DV. I'll be able to see all of the signals here the same way I was able to see them just a moment ago when I was online on the actual PLC. Okay, so in terms of actually setting it up, I've already done that. And I'll just show a kind of a, a demo, an example um, of it working. So here, for example, um, if I go off, I just have a simple graphic here set up um, where essentially I have a kind of conductivity, TOC, you know, just flow, etc., um, where the actual generation is, is occurring. We've basically got potable water on one end and then effectively we've got the actual distribution buffer tank um, you know, uh, over here. And often, say, for example, you've got scenarios where, say, we've got a, an actual valve, which is an outlet, say, for example, on the actual the generation skid. And then what we have then is we have the, the actual valve that is in control. It's controlled by the DCS. And how do you actually get that kind of communication going uh, between both. So I'll show an example of the live values first of all. So here I have say this particular guy and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to see that this guy here he says 85 conductivity and if I go in here if I go online say what I'll do here is he's rounding him to two decimal places so what I'll do is I'll go 0 0.7 And then if I minimize him, see that the value has gone to 0 0.7. So that's an example of actually being able to read. And then uh, say, for example, here in terms of the status, say, for example, if you do your request out of the SCID, um, you want to be able to actually write values as well. So if I go back, I just created a button just for the sake of it. Here, say, for example, if we go with your request, send him there. 
and then I can see that in the PLC the value there is actually true at the moment so he's true and here if I actually do it then in real time I'll have to go back I'll go with your request click that button there and then he goes back to false okay so that's an example here where I feel again that the in in situations there where you actually have a PLC that has an OPC UA server on it I think that this is by far the most elegant uh, road to go down you've got direct communications right there you can set up all of your individual devices and um, if they have the OPC UA um, capability there especially for your vendor packages the S7 1500 and the 1200 have had this capability for years but there are then several models of compact logics and control logics which actually have this functionality as well so for myself I think that um, definitely this is the way to go thank you very much